the place was set up for total immersion. Languages, uh, Italian coaching, Italian songs, Russian. In my day, you just could choose, dip in and out. And the library. The library was really the fundament of everything for me. I would, I would be in the library with Anna, who's just left, and Jeff, who's still here. And I would just suck it all up suck up as much as I could, listen to every single voice, try and analyse every single voice in my in my greenest grass way. Yeah, it was an incredible education. It was the making of me. The facility is even better now than it was then, but it was still streets ahead of anywhere else then. I never stop to look at the past. I try and pinch myself as I'm doing it. You know, if you're at La Scala or something and you're doing something that's lovely, or Vienna or Paris, when you're doing it, you pinch yourself. I do it, I say it out loud, almost like, you know, don't forget, don't forget this, not coming back, you know. You are doing X, Y, Z here, at top level, and you're having a fantastic time. Yeah. I think life is a succession of now plus now, better, better kept that way. So I started planting wildflower meadows and woods and rides to encourage various species of birds and insects. And I got lucky, time passed, I got protection status, wildflower meadows of regional importance and it's just, apart from my children and my wife, it's, it's everything it's been my life's work to make this little wet heaven in West Wales. It is totally gorgeous. I happen to love Manchester. I happen to bizarrely love the climate. I was, I was up here 11 years. I lived here as well. I stayed up here. Uh, my mother was born here. My grandfather lived here. I was a student here. Everything else here. I, had, I was very, I found it extremely hard to leave the north and go south. The old cliche to me was completely true. It's a different way of living, different way of looking at the world, different culture, and I missed it deeply. It seems to me in my little round life that those that prevail, even those with sublime gifts, those that prevail are the ones that worked especially hard and especially well. There are no magical shortcuts, there's just hard work. Now don't mistake that for ambition. Ambition is not a particularly interesting word, not to me. Passion on the other hand, passion is totally different. If you've got a passion then you're spending 18 hours a day then it's not hard work at all. So that's what you would wish upon any young musician leaving this beautiful place.